This is Sitam Thika Road, where Christ is the answer. Greetings, uh, my name is Steve Onguko, a pastor here at Sitam Thika Road, and I am grateful to the Lord that he has given us an opportunity just to share with us and to be able to speak to us and encourage each other even as we are going through this moment, as we are going through this season where coronavirus seems to have taken captive of us, taken captive of our country, taken captive of entire nations and the world at large, and we just want to be encouraged in the word of the Lord that, that knowing that through Christ Jesus, that knowing that in the Lord that we are safe, that in the Lord that we find our refuge. And today I want to share with us on the subject overcoming the giant. Overcoming the giant, Corona seems to be the giant that has come, that has come into this land, that has come to come and take captive of us but i want to share with us just how then do we overcome this giant because giant it is something that seems bigger than us giant it is something that draws us away from the will and god's plans for our life corona has come it seems so big nothing we can do we feel helpless when when we hear about corona when we, we hear somebody sneezing we want to run away because we are afraid because there is no cure really there is no certainty that there is a cure for this disease and so it is a giant it is something bigger than us and it's only the Lord who is able to help us to overcome this giant that has come upon us and I want to tell us that giants come to remind us of how small we are giants come to remind us of the things that we cannot achieve it come to remind us on who and, and the most interesting thing is that giants come to remind us on who God is and that's what we want to focus and that's and that's who we want to focus at this very moment even as we talk about the giants so then how are we able to overcome this giant called coronavirus that has come to overtake that has come to take captive of us the first thing that we need to do we need to recognize that god cares for us we recognize that God understands us, God is aware of what you're going through, and God cares for us. The Bible says in the book of First Peter chapter 5, verse 7 says, Cast all your anxieties to him because he cares for you. God cares for you. God cares for your family. God cares for your job. God cares for your farming. God cares for whatever it is that you put your hand, that you put your mind in it. God cares for it. And because he cares, God is calling for you. God is calling for me to be able to cast all our anxieties. What will I eat? What will become every day? we get hearing news that that, uh, that, that they're saying the, the, the number of people who are being affected are increasing and there's so much fear I want to tell us that indeed all our anxieties need to be cast to the Lord the second thing that we need to understand is that we recognize that this battle of corona is not against the flesh and blood coronavirus come to take the flesh and blood but we want we need to understand that our fight is not against the flesh and blood. Our fight is against the powers and the principalities of this world. And therefore, we shall overcome this because this battle is not ours. This battle belongs to the Lord. The last thing that I want to encourage us, even as we go through this season of coronavirus, is to recognize that the battle belongs to the Lord. When you read the book of Joshua, Joshua chapter number 5, we see the servant of God, Joshua, going to fight, to fight this enemy. And just when he's about to go for this war, the angel of the Lord appears. And, the, and, and, and you know, Joshua was caught up in wondering, are you for us or are you against us? But the angel of the Lord reminded him that I'm neither for you or for them, but I am here for the Lord. And Joshua bowed before this angel of the Lord because he recognized that there's a man of war who has come to fight on their behalf. I want to remind you that Jesus is fighting for us. Jesus is fighting for us in this season. He's our healer. Jesus is the one who will, who will cover us from all this kind of this kind of disease that seems to have taken, have taken captive of us. Jesus is the only one we can hold on to. Jesus is the only one we can keep closer to us to be able to triumph, to be able to overcome these giants that is with us. Jesus himself talked to 
his disciples. In the book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, he says, For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. So the only person who can help us to triumph over this season, the only person who can help us to overcome this season is Christ Jesus. And I want to ask you to welcome Jesus in your heart. I want to ask you to hold on so firmly on Jesus Christ so that you'll be able to overcome this giant corona which seems to have taken captive over our nation and when jesus is closer to you i want to assure you my brother i want to assure you my sister you are more than a conqueror in christ jesus god bless you keep it safe stay at home and make sure you wash your hands god bless you